I am Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. I am cold, dry and dusty. Huge sandstorms cover me, making me appear red. I am Jupiter, the fifth planet from the sun. I am the biggest in the solar system. I have many moons. The biggest is called Ganymede. Seven planet from this, and I, have a, I am made of the frozen gases, and I have an average temperature of minus 240 degrees. I'm Neptune, the eighth planet from the sun. I'm also made of the frozen gases. I'm 4,500 million kilometers far from the sun. Dome mountains are formed when a large amount of magma builds up below the Earth's surface but does not erupt. This is a demonstration of a fold mountain and how it'll build light. Mount Everest is the tallest fold mountain in the world. These are examples of fold mountains and dome mountains. Exhibition will know everything about Mary Anning and how she discovered the first fossil. Mary Anning was born in 1799 and lived all her life in just in Dawson. She survived a lightning struck when she was 15. Three other people were killed. Mary became known as a local fossil hunter, which was unusual for a young girl. She was always fossil hunting with her little little dog. When Mary was 12, she found a huge dinosaur fossil on the beach. This was taken to the museum and can still be seen today. Over the years, Mary discovered lots more fossils and was locally known as Stone Girl, Bone Girl. The rhyme today is all about her. Seashells, seashells on the seashore. The shells that she sells are seashells, I'm sure. Now we are going to talk about the Earth's structure. The crust stretches about 40 kilometers below the surface. The crust is the outermost layer of the Earth. It is made of light rock. The mantle is the layer of the earth right below the crust. The mantle is the third layer but the first biggest one. The outer core is a magnetic bit of the earth's structure. It is also about 2,000 kilometers thick and the inner core is as hot as the sun's surface. The inner core is a soluble of iron and nickel. Here is an example of the layers of the Earth. I made a model of the layers of the Earth with weather. This is a model of the Earth's layers that school made. Today we are going to be talking about rocks, metamorphic, igneous and sedimentary. Metamorphic rock is formed under extreme pressure combined with heat over time. 
Metamorphic rock can be formed by pressure deep under the Earth's surface from the extreme heat caused by magma or by the intense collisions and friction of tectonic plates. Here's an example of a metamorphic rock. Three. Sedimentary rocks are formed by sediment that is built up over time, usually as layers at the bottom of lakes and oceans. This sediment can include minerals, small pieces of plant and other organic matter. The sediment is pressed down over a long period of time before forming into solid layers of rock. This sandstone is an example of a sedimentary rock. This is a piece of granite. Granite is an igneous rock found on Earth, but nowhere else in the solar system. It is formed from hot magma. It is either brown or black. The magma is forced between other layers of rock by the pressures under the Earth's surface.